On this flight, Philip, our in-flight volunteer, and I had the good fortune to meet and play a role in helping Lucy on her way to a new life. Lucy Lou is a sweet two-year-old English pointer. You know, I might be a good pilot, but I couldn't tell you word one about English pointers. Well, that is till now. English pointers are said to be even-tempered, friendly dogs who are affectionate, loving, and loyal. And I can tell you after meeting Lucy, that is true. She was a sweetheart. Hey everybody, this is Philip Hoimi. He's our second pilot.dog volunteer. And Philip, tell everybody why you wanted to volunteer. I wanted to volunteer because I love dogs and I love aviation. Awesome. We met Lucy in Irwin, North Carolina. Stuart flew her in from Florence, South Carolina. And Lucy was a love from the moment Philip and I met her. Unfortunately, Pam couldn't make this trip. As Stuart arrived, I noticed an ominous leak from under the front of the plane. But thankfully on inspection, it turned out to not be oil and not be from our plane. Woo! Steve. All right, well thank you. We'll take Lucy, we'll give her a little walk. Very excited, yeah. Yeah, uh, Philip's gonna be sitting back there cuddling her. <laughs> But our, uh, our flight supporters sent you uh, a little gift. Do you have any dogs to yourself? Yeah, we have a little dog. Okay, where they go? These are uh, organic pet treats and Smiling Dog Coffee sent you uh, some of their great coffee. So thank you for what you do. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, we're going to go to Georgetown, Delaware. Great, great. And uh, this is going to actually be one of those trips where we get the hand or two your new, your new mom. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to take care of that yeah. right now. All right, Lucy, let's get you some dehydration. <laughs> Does it, you want this leash back? No, it goes, uh, it came from hands. Uh, okay. So okay. Lucy. Okay. Come on, Lucy. All right, guys. All right. Travels. Yeah, you too, man. After a quick transfer and a walk by Philip, we were all loaded up and ready for the two hour flight to Georgetown, Delaware. So here's the background on our lovely passenger. Lucy was initially brought to Rusty's Legacy Dog Rescue in Marion, North Carolina in December of 2014, after she was found in someone's yard. Wanting to do the right thing, Jerry, the rescue's director, returned her to her respective owner, only to see her show up a short time again at a kill shelter. That's when Rusty's Legacy pulled her into their program. The rescue only had outdoor space available, which Lucy wasn't fond of. So her favorite pastime was to try and escape, which earned her a reputation as an escape artist. Now fast forward to three months ago, Lucy was still not adopted locally, so Jerry submitted her for rescue consideration to one of the breed-specific rescues which voted her as a mixed breed, unfortunately. And that rejected her application. But Lucy's luck was about to change. One of the volunteers holding her application forwarded the information to American Pointer Rescue. And thanks to Ann, who so generously agreed to take Lucy into her South Carolina home, she was immediately accepted into their national adoption program. Lucy quickly settled into her new life as a beloved indoor pet. And once she was able to live as a family member, she never attempted to escape again. Lucy found her forever home two months later and we had the pleasure to take her to her new mom in Delaware. Our flight took us over North Carolina, Virginia, the Chesapeake Bay, Maryland, and then to Delaware. It was a pretty cold and rough ride with turbulence all the way. You know, even I wasn't feeling all that wonderful on the flight. And that's quite frankly why you don't see more photos of Lucy. Our work and our flights would not be as possible to conduct if it wasn't for the loving care of our flight supporters, Plato Pet Treats, Pilots to the Rescue, and Smiling Dog Coffee. They all have wonderful products, and the dogs love the pet treats, and the pilots love the coffee. What you're about to watch is actually a bit of a long flying segment, but in all of my years of flying, I've never fought such a wicked landing. I thought about alternate airports, but the wind had turned nasty all over. And looking at the winds, I felt confident I could make the landing. 
but it would require a lot of focus. And uh, pilot on approach uh, to Georgetown, uh, you get some pretty severe gusts coming over the tree line at the approach end of 2-8, just be aware. All right, thank you. Uh, turning final, runway 2-8. Luckily, we had a direct wind, even though it was gusting right down the runway, so we didn't have to fight a stiff crosswind. You guys okay back there? We're doing good. They're right. making you work for your money today, aren't they? Yeah. Doing a good job. But as you can see, we were rocking around quite a bit. for the pilots out there. Uh, you can't see it, but I had my hand on the throttle. It was constantly tweaking the throttle all the way down. And if you have a keen eye, you'll notice that my approach was pretty steep. And I wanted to keep as much distance between myself and the ground with unpredictable winds in case I needed to do a go around. And then on landing, I stuck that thing right in there. We weren't going to take off again. We were staying on the ground. being such great passengers on such a rough landing. After touching down, we taxied up to introduce Lucy to her new mom, Kimberly. Kim was waiting for us at the airport, and she walked out to meet us at the plane. I couldn't wait to introduce Kimberly to Lucy. Hello! How are you? You're Kimberly? Yes. Well, we bring you Lucy. <laughs> oh, baby, look at you. Oh. She was awesome in flight. If you want to uh, pick her up and take her out, you can. We've got that's our harness line. We'll get it all squared away. Okay, so I should just take her home. Yeah, just, we'll just get her on the ground. Oh, baby. oh my goodness, look at how little you are. <laughs> So this is uh, Lucy's blanket. We okay. we gave it to her and she cuddled with it. It's got her scent on it and everything. Oh, oh my God. Oh, how is she on the flight? Oh, Philip cuddled her the whole time. Oh, did you get yep. Oh so she even went to sleep one morning. <laughs> Got a little something there for you. Yeah, Plato pet treats. Oh, that's great. Oh. <laughs> There's some uh, there and some pet treats. Hey! <laughs> Philip and I watched as Kim and Lucy walked away 
to start their new life. After grabbing a quick lunch there in the terminal building, Philip and I took off out of Georgetown, Delaware and headed back home to Raleigh, North Carolina. It smoothed out a little bit on the flight back home. It wasn't nearly as turbulent and that was a welcome treat. We flew home into the sun and just enjoyed the majesty of flying over the Chesapeake Bay, enjoying the view below, and just really appreciating what we'd been able to do that day. Helping Lucy to get to her new forever home and share the experience with Philip, who was an amazing in-flight volunteer. You can be a part of our dog rescue team. Just visit us at pilot.dog and become a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month. You can set a cap on how much you want to give each month. It doesn't matter. Any amount helps. Please help us save dogs.